welcome to pravya now podcast you must have come across uh, many articles and videos on social media platforms that claim that sanskrit has its origin in present day syria these articles and videos will also give references to the oldest inscription of sanskrit words found in syrian tablets which predate any archaeological findings in the indian subcontinent the implication is that sanskrit speakers in syria predate those in india supporting the aryan migration theory however let's dissect this claim using linguistic and anthropological evidence even considering the widely accepted aryan migration theory the claim that sanskrit and aryan came from syria doesn't stand ground the gist of the claim is many clay tablets found in syria belonging to the mitanni empire around 1600 bce have inscription in cuneiform script that mentions kings of the mitanni dynasty with names of indo-aryan origin and gods mentioned from the vedic literature therefore the speakers of syria predate speakers in india as we don't have any older inscriptional evidence to prove otherwise but absence of evidence is not evidence of absence also the language of the inscription is in hurian language or hurian language with loan words from into aryan language it is like urdu where the base language is indian but there are persian loan words and terminologies just like urdu cannot be called persian hurian with aryan words cannot be called sanskrit as per hurian grammar these indo aryan words are modified like nasatya is suffix with n making it nasatyanna sounds lost in the cuneiform script The cuneiform script like later Arabic script does not have a separate letter for p and hence its substitutes with b so priyamed is written and pronounced as biryamazda the cuneiform script like arabic script does not have a sign to denote how syllable therefore the rn concept of rita was written down as arta by both persians russians and mitanni aryans as the script influences pronunciation later zurashians refer to the rita as arta another word in the inscription was indra instead of indra if aryans had migrated to india from syria as it is sometimes inferred they would have brought the pronunciations like indra arta and not indra or rita in the medieval period when persian was introduced as the administrative language in northern india Persian scripts replaced various Indian scripts for writing local languages. Hence that changed the pronunciation of many Punjabi and Hindi words. Samudra means ocean became samandar and indra became indar. This was the result of writing in a script that didn't have signs for a half syllable. General consensus among historians on Aryan migration theory Historians agreeing with the Aryan migration theory theorize the migration pattern started in Central Asia with one branch coming to India one going to Iran and the third going to Syria those who came to India preserved it verbally and later wrote it down in a script best suited to their sounds meanwhile those who went to Middle East adopted the pre-existing cuneiform script of the Mesopotamian civilization and lost some of their pronunciations in the process mitanni aryans are believed to be a minority ruling elite while the main population was hurian speakers a parallel can be drawn with the minority of turco persian elites ruling the delhi sultanate while most of the population were indo aryan speakers loss of the p sound in the word seven another argument comes referring to the cuneiform word for 7 satta the proto indo european root word for 7 is considered saptam when it went to india it became sapta and it became hapta in avestan later becoming hafta in persian when it went to rome it became septem while in ancient greece it became hepta the p sound had survived everywhere but in india Sapta became Satta in Pali and Prakrit and became Sat in modern languages like Hindi and Marathi. This shows how the word lost its p sound when it was simplified. The Mitanni word for 7 Satta
may point to the fact that these migration happened from India after the world evolved in Prakrit. If this is considered, it makes an argument that Aryans in India predate Mitannis, hence taking back the date of Aryan migration even further. The concept of Aryans, who are they and where did they originate, is a very complex theory. Many differing narratives come from the lens of ideological biases. I am planning to make a three-part series on Aryan migration theory, arguments against it and counter-arguments, mostly in a story format. So if you like my video on this topic, stay tuned as I will create more content on this topic. Stay tuned to Pranav Now. This is Pranav signing off. Ta-ta.